Good day. It's Easter Monday and also the 1st of April. That's April Fool's Day. And the weather tried to play me a bit of a fool this morning because it was gloriously sunny whilst I was doing stuff at my desk. And this afternoon you can see there is some blue sky, but it's generally overcast. And when I came down, I thought it might drizzle and I was caught in a bit of a downpour, which started letting up by the time I came to the shed. But um, I brought down the gifts from Vivi. As you know, Vivi is giving up her garden because she is intending to move relatively soon and also mobility and things and she has given me I think I think there's three or four sets of shade netting so these are these are shade netting tunnels ones that this sticks into the ground and I've also got I think in there's two sets of general netting which is fabulous just to sort of keep foxes and things off and still to bring down is a whole load of her EnviroMesh which I'm just so grateful to have. I was costing up EnviroMesh a good few weeks ago and then Vivi said to me oh I've got some that you can have and um, yes I've uh, got quite a bit now which is great a little magpie on top of that shed up there quite a lot of magpies around at the moment but not so many peregrines no sorry not so many um oh parakeets due to our peregrines which are on ealing hospital which is that building behind the trees up there and um the nest is actually this side right at the top um so yeah the parakeets are certainly generally keeping away from here at the moment a wonderful food source for peregrines but they've got four eggs now which i, I noticed this morning when i was looking at the live webcam so so that's lovely oh look maybe some more of that blue is going to come across that would be fabulous that would be fabulous let's just have a look at things in the greenhouse you may have seen we potted on some of our brassicas, the hybrid at the back the other day. I think these dazzling blue kale in the middle will be potted on in a couple of days. The Brussels sprouts at the front continue to, to grow somewhat slowly, but they're growing. And then two types of lettuce, our own save seed and then outrageous lettuce. These look quite similar at the moment. Gazanias getting their true leaves and parsley there which I've pricked out and potted on not doing well at all but I come over here and hopefully you can see our chard is germinating which is great um, and it is breaking through the sort of crusty surface that I was talking about one of our subscribers was saying that um, they put cardboard over their surface to stop it drying out and then take that off once seedlings are through. Quite a good idea that I think, though I might be a bit remiss and not remember to take cardboard off. Scabious in here, nothing yet. These are our squash, nothing yet, butternut squash. And then various tomatoes over here and i can't see oh sorry i can't see anything germinating in there yet no let's look elsewhere this tray usually has this lid on it is outside on a bench sunflowers you can see they've started germinating and then at the back i can't see any germination there yet that's parsley and spring onions but yes, definitely um, these sunflower, I think they're dwarf sunflower, are germinating well. So I'm just going to pop the lid back on there. 
Here's another one that's sort of lid that's broken. I, I spoke about this last week or the week before and John suggested that I get a heat heat gun, heat glue gun, because I should be able to mend that with a heat glue gun. We've got quite a few like this that are getting to their end of their lives. And um, I mean, if I could keep them going another year or two, that would be fabulous. So I will look into that heat glue gun idea. Um, I think the actual sort of gun bits are about 12 to 15 quid in the UK and then you have to buy the glue sticks as well I think but I'm not an expert in that so um, I will need to do some googling. These are our Karmas in and I think I'm going to most probably give up on these they don't I'll give them another week or so but they just don't seem to be getting away. These are broad beans, karmas in variety, as I say. Something that is beginning to get away in a good way. You see here our asparagus. Here as well. I think that will be the first true year of picking from these. Nothing in this one as yet. But yeah, it looks as though we're going to get three asparagus yay but what i do need to do is weed because asparagus like onions and garlic they don't like weeds surrounding them i mean nothing likes weeds surrounding them really because the weeds take the the nutrients and this is where we put in our charlotte potatoes and of course each time i'm down i do have a look to see if anything is growing and and it's not so far well it's not visible above soil, so no leaves breaking the ground yet, which is fine. What's that? That's, well, it's only two weeks. It's the 16th of March they went in and it's the 1st of April now. Uh, everything had a good stream the other day, so he's looking a little bit tidier, which has pleased me no end. Um, and then if we just pop oh got to be careful I've got a wire going over the plot pop in here the hybrid brassicas that we pricked out and potted on into these modules they all seem to be fine then we got two types of beetroot here nothing germinated here as yet that I can see and nothing in our cucumber and courgettes either Plenty of time yet. The truism of April showers is certainly here. So um, I came in here, showed you the things in the poly, and then I just went to the greenhouse to shut the door. And by the time I was sort of coming back, the, the shower had started again. It's, um, I think it's rain. It is a rain shower. There we are. Um, so I'm sort of here, I think, for maybe a few minutes yet. I only really wanted to have a walk down here today and, oh, a big bumblebee has just left the polytunnel. And um, I think we had a couple of bumblebees nesting in the poly over the winter uh, because I've seen a few scoot out from various places and one just scooted out then right into the rain. Gosh it's loud in here that is that's now rain that's proper rain now on the rain shower. Oh dearie me dearie me. Good day and welcome to Thursday afternoon which is a tad drier than it was earlier in the week when you saw me. So I had a bit of a filming glitch in that last segment. 
I did do, I thought, a piece to camera to sort of say goodbye as I normally do at the end and then show you the, the rain as it was crashing down outside the polytunnel. But when I got to edit the footage, that bit of footage that I thought was there wasn't there. And maybe it's something about being on camera because I've come down in relatively grey skies but with lovely sunshine and I've actually taken my top my hoodie off because it was quite warm out there and you know what as I've started filming this it's just started raining <laughs> I mean I just don't know I just don't know um oh yeah it just feels a bit odd <laughs> that's all um there's somebody who wants me just hang on one second Yes, so I've got the shed door open and as I was talking to you, I just noticed, oh, there's some splatterings on the shed door. What's that? It's raindrops. So um, I've just really come down to do some watering because I haven't been here since, oh, when was it? I think Tuesday. Um, and even though that's only a few days, we have had temperatures quite a bit warmer than usual. So I want to check on the seedlings and uh, I have done that and have taken lids off. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. And also um, on rain, it was announced today that the last 18 months has seen the highest rainfall record in the UK. You know, I mean, it's not that surprising, but I think it was almost 1.7 metres of rain on average across the UK um, over the last 18 months, which I know for some territories may not seem a lot, but clearly this is record breaking. I think it's broken the record by about five centimeters, something like that. So maybe not a huge amount, but the fact that we are, we are and have been saying, you know, gosh, it's so wet. The fact that we've had a record breaking 18 months of rain is something to, um, acknowledge and maybe sort of bear in mind for the future you know if we have wetter weather and we have hotter weather as it looks as though it's going to be with real cold snaps maybe we do need to think about how we alter the things that we grow rather than the way that we grow anyway anyway it has dried out a bit um, so it stopped raining as I've been talking so it started and it stopped so we'll pop into the greenhouse but a big thank you to those people who commented on last week's video um, on YouTube last week's a week at the plot about the crusty surface of the uh, the compost the peat free compost that we've got several people have suggested um, the quality of our compost is is not great that's fine I'm I'm I understand that qualities are different, you know, and if we buy more expensive compost, um, we, it may be a better quality. However, there were quite a few comments about adding other um, medium to that. So like coir, you know, C-O-I-R, coir, isn't it? Coir, what am I saying? Coir, or, um, or some soil from our own beds here. Uh, you know, a few handfuls of soil in a bucket or also adding topsoil. And I think actually they're, they're pretty good ideas. And then I also saw after I, I edited that video last week that Monty Don put vermiculite on the top of his uh, sowings. I think mainly because the seed he was sowing likes to see light. So vermiculite helps that light get through to help that seed germinate. But maybe that's another idea rather than the the um, the cardboard that was suggested by somebody else. But, um, you know, I think all valid and good ideas. It's just what trying these things out and seeing what works for us. Um, but one of the one of the, the sort of questions I had is, will the sort of more fragile seeds um, break through the crust of the uh, of our modules? So let's have a, a look at that. The Brussels sprouts at the front here still, they're, 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 they're making their way. They're making their way, still feel a little bit slow. 
The dazzling blue kale, I will be pricking those out in the next day or so. And then right at the back over here, we've got the remaining hybrids. And certainly I think I'll prick out the remaining three there in the coming few days too. Our lettuce and gazanias are sort of doing fine, need a little bit of water. Um, but yeah, they're doing okay, quite happy with those. I've not grown gazanias before, so I think I'll be pricking those out relatively soon. The parsley that we tried to overwinter with a early seed sowing has just not done. So that will be going into our carrot bed just to add compost there. And then looking at our sort of crusty surface of soil, the chard, as you can see here, um, has broken through the surface absolutely fine and seems to be growing quite well. I think the greenhouse might be a lit little too warm for both these and the brassicas. I meant to take the brassicas here um, out. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll think about that in a, a day or so. Nothing in the scabious as yet. Putting my finger down below, there's plenty of um, moisture in that compost though. Then butternut squash, two have germinated so far. Um, I can't see any, oh no, there's a bit of soil heave there. Can you see that little bit of green in there? So that one has germinated as well. So they're, they're coming on now, fingers crossed. And I think I might sow some more of these. And then over here, we do have some germination in some of our tomatoes. The, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, oh, Mountain Magic, was it? We've got two germinated there and we've got two in the Rose de Bairn at the back. Um, Dorothy was saying that her tomatoes were taking a while to germinate and should she bring them indoors. I'm finding that, that tomatoes are generally taking between sort of at least seven, but generally for me, 10 to 21 days for germination at the moment, particularly with the soil, sorry, with the uh, temperatures that we've had when they've been Nighttime temperatures have been diving down to like four degrees. Hopefully now that our temperatures at night are sitting around nine degrees plus, we'll get some more germination here in the coming few days. Fingers crossed. Let's have a look in the poly. Cucumbers on the left, courgettes on the right, and no germination visible with either of those as yet. Um, I'm not. I'm not worried. I think. Uh, I think they'll be fine. Like the, um, sorry, the squash, which are, these are the same family of seed. Um, I think they're just taking their time. And then we do have some germination of beetroot now. So this is the Chiogia, and we've got some around here. And then over here we've got golden, and you can see. Here, I would have thought that these have just broken through the surface today um, or sort of late yesterday. So hopefully there's going to be a little bit more germination in the coming days. And our brassicas, which we pricked out last week, are doing fine. They will need a, a little bit of watering. But having gone from rain we've now got sort of sunshine again oh let's have a look at the bench oh it's drizzling we'll have a look at the bench quickly right our dwarf sunflowers have certainly germinated i think i did put three seeds per module which may be a bit too many but um hey ho but then with our spring onions there and our parsley nothing in there yet the uh, the soil is quite um moist still it's not wet it's it's moist so i don't know i think this was old seed for both the spring onions and the parsley so um yeah i think if if we don't get any germination in the coming few days with these 
I think it will be time to say goodbye to that seed and, and uh, look at new packets. But, um, you know, some things are doing really well. If we come around here, these are our overwintered leeks. And I'm really happy with the way that they're coming on. However, we do have that mild wet winter that we've had. I don't know if you can see every single leaf on, on the, the uh, perpetual spinach has been munched. Look at the holes. Maybe it's religious spinach, holy spinach. Look at that. Yeah. And then, of course, I did have a look um, here. Oh, I'll just sit down for any sign of germination of potatoes. But there's nothing there yet. Oh, I haven't looked in the tubs. No, nothing there, nothing over there. Bit of bindweed there though. Yeah, nothing here yet. You may remember I uncovered these brassicas last week because they will be a fabulous source of food for pollinators, bumblebees, hoverflies, other flying insects etc um, but I'm just really surprised even though it's really breezy today I'm I'm surprised at the lack of of anything on them I mean look they are gorgeous look at that this is um, oh it's not in focus is it this is Portuguese cabbage it's absolutely lovely over here oh it's very breezy over here I just saw a bee oh yes there's a bumble there oh it's just flown off these are our dazzling blue kale that didn't do well over the winter and went to seed you can see why they're called dazzling blue kale they've got that purple in the spine they're rather lovely but um, Having also seen lots of ladybirds, including those mating ones of last week, I'm noticing not very many today. Oh look, there's a pollinator. Can you see? There's one. Um, but we want ladybirds because I can see a thickening of the stalks over here. And that thickening of the stalks is aphids so you know there's plenty of food for for um for ladybirds i can see quite a few snails in there as well it really is an afternoon of april showers because we've now got sunshine having had several showers since i've been down here one quite heavy and, um, you know, that's the name of the game, isn't it? April showers in the UK. So I'm leaving this segment here. Uh, I only wanted to come down and check on germination and whether anything that we had in the, uh, either undercover, in the poly, in the greenhouse, or undercover on the benches needed watering. And I've actually given everything a quick water. Uh, because I felt that they all needed something. So I, I have done that. I'm okay with the germination is, as it is at the moment. Uh, we are, have got other things to sow. I need to sow carrots and parsnips. And when I say need to, I mean I want to, therefore I need to. So I'll be sorting out this bed in front of me uh, in the next couple of days, certainly, to sow various types of carrots. And... Um, Guernsey half long parsnip so uh, we will get that in so I will see you then um, what else am I going to do today I don't think I'm going to do anything else I am just going to leave you with a shot of the quince on our next door neighbours plot because it has started to flower it smells amazing and it looks amazing too yeah let me just show you that it is rather lovely. I'm not sure if you can fully see. 
but yeah the the flowers are just glorious they really are I'm not sure if that's in focus or not but then they come out like this can you see that it's just glorious and it smells lovely even with this breeze going across the plot it's fabulous to see it I can see it from um, the shed window when I sit in the shed as well and that's lovely and our honeysuckle uh, is also now out and that's looking rather lovely too right I shall see you very soon bye <laughs>
just so that I have access to this bed. I'm really trying to get that balance right this year of leaving things in that are good for wildlife, but also taking things out um, so that my life is made easier. I think I'm gonna carry on weeding this bed. I'll most probably, I'll move the bucket over there and then move that brassica over here. Just lay it down for the moment. It's gonna go into the compost and weed that bed before I go home. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. It's certainly a little bit windswept out there today. Um, Storm Kathleen, that is, isn't it? We said that in Sunday chat. So Storm Kathleen, we've got sort of like the edge of it. Um, got quite breezy last night, quite windy in fact, about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock um, when we were going to bed or 11 o'clock when we were going to bed, then I was reading for an hour and it got quite windy. Yeah, so uh, I, it's definitely died down down here. It's gone for, sort of further north. So, and as I say, we only got the edge of it. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure quite what you'll have heard outside, but I'm, I'm, I've been looking at the plot over the past few days and I sort of need a day down here which I'm not going to get today I'll, I'll have another hour down here today um, but I sort of need a day down here just to carry on with uh, just to weed the beds that we've got uh, open to open up that bed um, by where the leaks are uh, do various things including strim I need to strim again already you know we only strimmed 10 days ago something like that and I certainly need to strim again that's because we've got warmer weather we've got sunnier weather but we've still got lots and lots of wet weather I was looking at the um, rainfall forecast <laughs> rainfall rainfall historic rainfall for October, November and December and I think February and it was like three times the the average um, in this area you know which is pretty pretty intense rain it really is but I said about that earlier in the week right yes there is quite a bit to do down here uh, I'm going to be pricking out those brassicas maybe I won't get it done today I was going to do it, but I've decided I'm going to weed. I'm, I'm in the weeding mood. Another hour of weeding will do me good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on and weed. And I'm going to say goodbye to all of you. Uh, whatever is happening in your garden, your growing space or your allotment, I hope it is going well. I know some of you are harvesting and winding down in the southern hemisphere, where us in the northern hemisphere are, are gearing up. Um, so I hope whatever is happening it is pleasing you and we'll be doing maybe a bit more sowing well we will definitely be doing more sowing next week so I need to sow the carrots and parsnips to get those in that bed is now prepared so we'll be doing some of that and bits and bobs and other things too right I will see you very soon I'm gonna get on and weed Thanks very much for watching. Bye.